Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I actually have a sponsored video. This video is about five cool effects to do on Filmora 9 and they are sponsoring this video. So a little bit about it is it is a easy to use software for editing videos and it's probably one of the best because of how easy and user friendly it is. It's so easy to edit videos quickly and it's a low budget. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars like other softwares in order to use it to get all of the cool effects. So if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box. You can try it for seven days free and it works on Windows and Mac and they also have an option for your phone too. So if you want to try using it on there if you don't have a computer but I highly recommend it because of how amazing this software is so yeah so without further ado let's get into the five cool effects you can do on this software so the first effect is to do a reverse clip but I'm gonna show you guys how to make it look smooth and so for example I have this flowering flower video and I just dropped it from my media section into my timeline and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the spot on the video where I want to reverse it. So I'm just resizing it here so I can get a better idea. And then I am going to line the cursor up with where I want to split it. And then you'll see in the gray bar right above the timeline that there are options like undo, there's a garbage can to delete, and then there's scissors. And once it's lined up, you're going to want to click on the scissors because that is the split tool. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image, I'm going to copy it, or on the video, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste that same video. And then I'm going to click on the video that I'm going to reverse, and another option pops up right by the scissors, and that is the time option, and there's an option to reverse, so I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to play around with speed, and as you guys can see, this is what this looks like, but we're not done yet. So you can see that it just kind of reverses, but it doesn't feed nicely into the next clip. So what I'm going to do is speed it up and I am going to do that just by dragging the little green bar that is there. And then I'm going to split away and delete the part where it gets black so that that doesn't go back into the video. And then it's going to look like this. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to copy that final uh, reverse clip and paste it. So just repeating the same steps as earlier. And then once you have this, you're gonna click on it and then just click reverse again so that it's playing normally. And this is the final effect that you get. And I think it looks really cool and smooth, especially for a reverse clip, so yeah. The next thing you can do is add titles and the reason I'm mentioning this is because there are so many different title options just with the free version of Filmora 9 as you guys can see by the screen right here. So if you go into the different types there are these which the open called openers and they are good for intros if you want to make like an intro for your channel. Then there are titles that you can just put over videos and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in this tutorial. But there are also a lot of lower third titles and subtitles and end credits that you can use. So you, as you guys can see, there are many different options for creating titles in your videos. Ryan Little. <laughs> okay, so I went back to titles and I downloaded these two before. And you do that just by double clicking wherever you see the little arrow logo because that means it's not downloaded yet. But once you do that, you drag and drop it into your timeline and then you just click on it, double click, and you can change the text. You can see that there are a lot of different options. So besides changing what it says quite literally, you can change the font, you can change how bold it is, or you can just, you can change the size, you can change if it's bold, you can change if it's italicized, you can also change the color, it's aligned, text spacing, line spacing. There's a lot of different options and then on the left you guys will see there's also an option to change the preset so you can change what it actually looks like and the animation so if you want it to pop up differently you can and this is what that looks like. The next effect is a glitch effect on your video. So I chose this video of a sparkler because I thought it would look 
cool with like a prism kind of glitch effect. So I dragged and dropped it into my timeline and I deleted any extra part of the video that I didn't want. And then once you have that, you're going to want to just go to the effects tab, which is at the top. And as you guys can see, there are also a ton of different effects built into Fil Filmora 9. So you have a ton of different options. Uh, there's bokeh, there's just like regular light leaks, there are um, grain, there's literally so many options, I can't even name them all. <laughs> but uh, I'm going through the side here, you see there's filters, overlays, and then utility. And utility is just things like masking, um, adding a border, making it look cinematic. And then there's LUTs, and if you don't know what a LUT is, it changes like the color grade so that it, the colors are all complementary to one another. So this is the teal and blue one. I thought it looked nice on this clip, so I added it. And then there's also film stocks, which you can subscribe to to get more. But uh, I'm going to go back to some of my favorites. So the one for this glitch tutorial is the chromatic aberration, and you just drag and drop it onto the clip. And when you play it, you get the effect, like so. <laughs> now for transitions. So there are a lot of different transitions on here again and they have a lot of ones that I think were pretty cool that you'd be playing a lot for if you had a other editing software and had to buy it from Pixel Film Studio. But here are just some examples of some of them and then I'm going to show you how to use them and some of my favorites. So here are my favorites. What I, All you have to do is drag and drop them onto the timeline between the two clips and you see it lines up and it and then you just drop it in and you can get the effect. And so here are what some of them look like. I think they're really professional looking and really, really easy to use. So if you're looking for an easy way to do transitions or even kind of professional looking ones, this is definitely an option for you. And finally, the last effect is this film look. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the different effects you can layer in order to get the look of film on your uh, video. So what I'm going to do is go to the effects tab and type in film and then a bunch of different options are going to pop up. So as you guys can see there's like cool film, dark film, black and white film if you want to change the colors of it and get the film look but I decided I didn't want to do that. But what I chose was the dirty film and that's what gives you this like white speckled kind of look over and then I also added film grain. And so it looks kind of intense and not too good this way, so in order to fix that, what you're going to want to do is click on your clip and then go to this right here, which is your adjustments tab. Then you're going to scroll down and go to video effects and just start uh, playing with the percentages and the alphas. And this is what's going to help you get the desired look. So I turned the percentage down and the alpha down for the grain a lot and what this does is change the opacity and how much uh, grain there is and it just makes it look a lot better. So this is kind of what it looks like and I just kept playing around with it until I had it how I liked it. watching this video and if you want to check out Filmora 9 I'll definitely be linking it down below as the first thing in the description. Thank you to Filmora 9 for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!